It's another Young J exclusive. This is Tia Coffee with Overground Mogul Magazine, sitting down with the one and only DJ Chuck T. We've been hearing so much about you. I mean, we've heard so so much of your name, but never really got to see who you are in person. So if you can, let us know a little bit about yourself. You know, I'm glad that uh, you know y'all are giving me this opportunity. And um, to be honest with you, you know, um, I mean, there's a lot of people who are familiar with me as a DJ. They're familiar with you know my brand but they haven't met me personally you know so that's one of my goals for 2013 which is just try to get out a little bit more um rather than being behind the scenes try to get more in front of the camera you know what i'm saying um and get more you know in front of the media spotlight but um i mean i've been doing this dj thing for roughly about uh i say about 12 13 years now mm -hmm. um as far as making mixtapes but as far as actually djing because there's a difference i'm um i'm probably about eight years strong in the game you know what i'm saying but um you know, uh, uh, I mean, it's all about the grind, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm further ahead of my career than some people I know been doing it 20, 30 years. Yeah. You know, so it's all about your grind, it's about your connections, it's about how you maneuver, you know, and um, I mean, I try to uh, take advantage of every opportunity that comes my way, you know? Yes. Now, can you explain a little bit of what's the difference between, you know, being a DJ and doing mixtapes? Because I'm pretty sure, you know, you have your name DJ Chuck T, mm -hmm. so they're automatically thinking it's just a DJing thing. Exactly. But what actually separates those two? Well, you know, um, you can make mixtapes and not really know how to DJ. Right. You see what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people, they just throw songs on a CD, fade in, fade out, you know, and they call out a mixtape. And at one point in time, that was me. But uh, I started getting a lot of calls to do parties because people love my mixtapes, but I didn't know how to DJ. Right. So, you know, I saved up my money and went and, you know, bought me some turntables and uh, taught myself how to DJ, watched a lot of people. And, you wow. know, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just one of those things uh, when, you know, you're missing out on thousands of dollars, you know, you, you sort of learn pretty quick. So, uh, now, nah, you know, I just taught myself how to DJ, started taking little small gigs here and there, watching a lot of the bigger DJs and, um, you know, just develop my craft. But, you know, uh, there's a rift in the DJ community because there's a lot of DJs who make mixtapes because there's a lot of money in mixtapes, but they never learn how to DJ, but then they have the, the, the letters DJ in front of their name, right. you know, and you expect them to know how to at least work DJ, right, right, yeah, right, and a they don't. Bit. But, um, you know, I work with a DJ academy now called With These Hands Mix, and we're starting to teach, you know, the younger generation how to actually DJ. You know, that way it's done right, it's done properly. You know, they know the ABCs, they know the basics, and then they can build from there. You know, that's trying even, to preserve that's so the culture. Positive. That's a very positive thing because that also shows those younger men and women that they can do more than yeah. what they see. They can definitely. be a DJ and, and all of those things. Definitely. Now, I've, I've definitely heard that you have a condom line. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a matter Could you of, uh, please let us know about that condom? Yeah, well, you know, um, one of the uh, one of the uh, the biggest epidemics in the black community, in the hip hop community, urban community, basically, you know, is AIDS and STDs. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm a businessman first, um, but I always try to have some type of purpose behind what I do. Like, I started doing mixtapes to help the local artists in my area. Right. You know what I'm saying? I started DJing so that I could help break records. And, uh, you know, um, naturally, like I said, everything is a business. But, um, you know, my main goal was to break records and to help people get their music out there. So with the condom line, you know, I want to try to curb, you know, the ec the epidemic that we have and, you know, make wearing condoms cool because right now, you know, shit. Everybody's promoting not wearing them, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. Going raw, raw dog. But, um, you know, I'm trying to make wearing condoms cool, man, and, you know, make them accessible to everybody and make it a hip thing to do, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so, that definitely uh, sounds So, you know, great. with, with, uh, with my condom line, I'm hoping, you know, uh, to go full scale, full force with it within the next six months, you know? In the next six months, and so it should be dropping uh, when? Yeah, it should be in stores, you know, I'm, I'm hoping by the end of the year, you know. By I've the end already, of the year? I've already locked in a manufacturer, I've already locked in a distribution company, now all I gotta do is supply the product. Oh, wow, well that, that, that's so great, and what I love is that you do have meaning behind the things that yeah. you do, and the reasons why you're doing them, and exactly. it was an amazing, 
thing to meet you today. And, yes. and I'm yes. really, really I'm happy sure. that we did. I'm so excited. Um, I was getting tired of hearing your name and not, and not getting to see you. Well, you know, now, So it's definitely now, now a blessing that, that I've issue. been. Yes. <laughs> and I could see you a lot more often. I hope so. I definitely yes. would love to see you a lot more often. Yes. This is Tia Coffee with Overground Mogul Magazine. As soon as you get the chance, go to overgroundmogul.com. Join the fight with us right now against breast cancer and for our Boys and Girls Club of America. This is Tia Coffee with Overground Mogul.